we live in a world where so many of the big name journalists, the, the, the people that one trusted to do the right thing and to report honestly and to fight the fight and stuff, they've just, they've just run away or, or they found cushy jobs, you know, where they don't have to report from the front line. I, I tell you what it feels like. It feels like as if you've been training with your sort of band of brothers for, for, for D-Day and you've got to know each other and respect each other and, you, and, and you, you think, you know, he's really strong and he's really brave and stuff. And then you get to D-Day and you start, you, you charge the enemy position and you suddenly look around and realize that none of these people are with you. They've all run away. And you don't necessarily hate them. I don't, I don't feel that. I feel just like, why would you do that? Why would you be such cowards? Why would you not deal with the truth of what's happening in the world, so few people are, are, are doing it. You're like former, you know. I mean, you you would you'd be a no mark in, in you know in the old days when you know all the big names in the newspapers and one knew who they were. But it's people like you who are carrying the torch for the truth. People like you and me, and everyone else is just like not doing their job. I mean, have you do you feel this as well? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, James, when 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 all this started last year, I think all of us, uh, nobody had an idea what was really going on. Well, there might be some exceptions. Again, I, I have to always commend James Corbett because he's he saw and he didn't maybe yeah. perhaps know it was going to be the the, um, the 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 means that this would be this, you know, fourth industrial revolution technocracy would be uh, ushered in would be COVID-19 or whatever. But he definitely saw what's happening transpiring um he saw that coming at some point but myself i didn't know i mean the thing is like when you report uh from a place and you're you're kind of tunnel visioned on a, a place whether it's when i was in gaza or in syria it's hard to be aware of what's happening you know and on a broader sense it's very easy to get tunnel visioned but uh so i'm just saying that to to be quite frank and say like when things started last year i didn't know what was going on um but I have my go-to sources of websites and people that I yeah. trust, like Corbett or yeah. you know Global Research, or uh, I didn't know of UK Column, but now I do, and now I follow yeah. them, and I have a lot of respect for their reporting. And um, so I was at least, you know, I, Vanessa, others were at least asking questions, you know, just asking questions, like, well, you know, uh, what was one? Well didn't the WHO wasn't involved in a number of scandals before? Like, why are we taking their word now? Why are they suddenly this body that is um, benevolent and, and like, we can just fully trust in them. Like, and, yes. you know, for those crimes of simply asking questions or, or posting articles that were giving a different narrative or, you know, God forbid articles that were exposing um, the WHO and, uh, and all the, the allies, then we were lambasted and including by some of these so-called courageous journalists or yeah. supposedly courageous journalists. So um, like yourself, I mean, if there's if there's like a German, uh, sorry, a journalist or a prominent voice that simply doesn't know, well, that's fair. I mean, you can't get mad at somebody for not knowing or being confused. But there are people that have actually gone in, and and you, you're probably very well aware of this, but have gone and just attacked and derided those of us who've questioned or um, gone on to question. And of course, the, 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 the really um, sick thing is that they've, they've derided us not only by saying, you know, like uh, that you were crazy essentially, but by using the very CIA weaponized term conspiracy theorist yes. that has been used against us when reporting honestly on Syria. So they know that term mm -hmm. is used to discredit, to just blanket discredit somebody, but they're using it themselves. It's, it's just like such a state of hypocrisy, you yeah. know, if you don't agree with us, like yourself, James, you and I probably differ on a number of um, um, perspectives, right? But that's yeah, okay. Like probably. we can still have yeah. a really honest, um, civil conversation. Yeah, and I'm but happy to be corrected people, if I'm wrong no on way. something. You know, I'm, I'm going to look out for what's Likewise. evidence and, and stuff. And yeah, persuade yeah. me, show me. That seems to be the, Absolutely. Seems to be the default I, position for any journalist. 